Well, you can argue whether he needed it or not, but Governor Cuomo's re-election bid is getting a boost, kind of. New York Times, reluctantly it seems, if you read between the lines, giving Cuomo a nod of approval, endorsing him this time around. Times says it's disappointed in Cuomo's disbandment of the Moreland Commission and dropping his promise to clean up corruption in Albany. Times says it hopes that the governor uses his next term to change campaign finance laws if he's reelected. However, the paper did give Cuomo a pat on the back for persuading some Republican lawmakers to permit same-sex marriage in the state. It also gave him kudos for passing the strongest gun control law in the country after the Sandy Hook tragedy. In part, the Times said, quote, while its editorial board chose not to make an endorsement in the Democratic primary in September, we recommend Mr. Cuomo for re-election on the basis of these achievements. And you're there firsthand. Was it fair, the editorial? And, and if listen, if you if you want to find top, one of the top five things that drive this governor crazy, the Times editorial board is one of them, right? Are their criticisms fair? I mean, you're on the front lines of this. Well, I look. I am a supporter of the governor. I've made no secrets about it. I think he is. Uh, done a remarkable job of accomplishing things, and I think that's what most voters want. I don't agree with him about everything. Many people don't agree with him about many things. But that being said, this is a person who, as governor, actually got Albany moving and did things. Now, they gave him credit for some of the things I think he deserves credit for. Marriage is, is extremely important, and he was a leader. Gun, the gun legislation, he took the bull by the horns and he got it done. If he had waited any longer, I don't think we could have gotten the mm -hmm. bill done. And there's a number of other things he's done in but terms of- dredging the swamp. I remember when he stood in front of Tembi Hall and he said, you know, this is, I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna dredge it. Now, maybe it's a tall task for anybody, but four years later, uh, you know, we always say this, Dominic goes, you're one of the good ones, okay? But every every few months, it seems, that somebody from the Assembly or the Senate's getting led, uh, getting led away in handcuffs or in some kind of trouble, do Look, we have? Do we, as the electorate, had a right to expect more four years later in terms of uh, better government? Absolutely, gov and it's but it's not only the governor. We need stronger laws. Unfortunately, the governor is not the only lawmaker in town. You have a Senate and you have an Assembly. They didn't want to do campaign finance reform in the Senate. Uh, you got to do strong ethics reform. It needs three parties. Now the governor did try to lead, and he couldn't get his way. And we did compromises. Were they adequate? Never adequate. But I give him credit for taking the lead, and I don't think that he should, he's not the only guy mm -hmm. in town that makes laws. There really are other people who block his agenda, and I hope we can change that. Well, isn't he the guy that said, I am the government, though? I he mean, may have said that. I know that. he said that. He <laughs> may have said it, but unfortunately, he's stuck with some of us. Yeah. In terms of the book, uh, I, I know it's very sanitized. I've actually gone through a decent amount of it. In some ways, it's revealing. In some ways, it's rah-rah, you know? Um, but... Did you get anything? I know you haven't gotten, uh, gotten a chance to probably yet. go through it, but I'm running. you don't have to. I'm running for <laughs> <laughs> Just look at the index. That's my. You, 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 you only have to look at. Really? Yeah, see if your name's in there. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. You know. That's how most. It's all about Phil. Right? It's all about. No, 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 no. So, yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that. I'm just telling Is you that's how most there? people are going to read this book. <laughs> They're going to look at the index. Oh, of course. No, 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 no. I didn't expect it. I didn't. I know you think it's just. I Dominic think that there is. If he was. If I could have given him free counsel, how raw he was at times about how bad 2002 was, that humanized him. Instead of, and the more you do that, especially for him who comes across as cold and robotic, so many people, albeit effective, that would have been a good thing, not a bad thing, don't you think? Uh, I agree with you, but you have to understand the DNA of this governor. I mean... Well, in fairness to him, it, it's hard for a lot of governors to put themselves out there and discuss their shortcomings. So I'm not sure, but going back to the Times, just for one second, I'm sure his point of view, Richard, is I'd rather have it than not have it. Oh, yeah. And if you're if you're Astorino, you're not happy with what the no. Times had to he say about him. Astorino was brushed off with the back of their hand. And I'll tell you something that got me about this endorsement. It was very interesting. Here's the newspaper that broke the Moreland Commission yes. story. Yeah. And Good they point. soft-pedaled soft that in this endorsement Well, they today. didn't endorse They said, the oh, so now it's in the hands of the U.S. attorney. The well, last I heard, the U.S. Yeah. attorney was investigating him. 
And they, uh, you know what's funny? You ask people, you ask people, wouldn't you think, Phil, yeah. m- more than five out of ten would have thought that the Times endorsed a uh, teach out in the primary? They didn't endorse anybody, but the no. perception <laughs> that's out there the that they, you know. Yes, right. they did. Yeah. Yeah. It looked like they did. Uh, All right. Now, right. we go to the city where Bill de Blasio would have thought by now that the Rachel Nordlinger <laughs> drama would have been said and done, but not so much. Boyfriend of the wife's top aide accused of name dropping in court while trying to get over uh, less than a grand in parking tickets. Uh, he tried to get him thrown out. Officials say uh, that he mentioned his girlfriend's name numerous times. And this is on top, obviously, Dominic. Um, of, you know, the background this guy has and, and, and all the other baggage he brings to the table. For the first time, it seemed that the mayor was getting frustrated with this. At what point does he say, resign, step down here, make this thing go away? I just don't need this headache in my life. I don't know if he ever does. I don't know if he ever does. Uh, and the reason being, one, Rachel, and full disclosure, I've known her for about 25 years. She's a good worker. That's why she was Sharpton's communications director for many, many years. She gets the job done. And frankly, from a political standpoint, de Blasio may want to cut ties now, but if he does that, he's got a bigger problem, and it's called Al Sharpton. Because he's going to have to explain to the good reverend why he let go of Rachel. You see, it's these dynamics, though, that for me... I think people always, or some people always, overestimate how much leverage the other one has over. Mm-hmm. Where, where's Sharpton going to go? Okay, really, there's only one mayor. Really? No, there's one mayor. He's, oh. he's, he's elevated him at every spot. How about here. a protest? He puts him on the okay. yeah. Ask Rudy Giuliani where Sharpton can go. Remember those? And okay. I know you know but that was those Diallo okay. protests but every day like at one this, PP. They were like this at Jump Street. And this you don't one, think the Sharpton could turn on de Blasio? Oh, the drop turn of on it? anybody. That's Bill Thompson. <laughs> I know that. But my only point is, at one point you say... I'm not going to have to check with a good reverend for his permission what I'm going to do with my staff, in effect. Well, I think that's less the issue than, again, my focus is what do ordinary citizens get when they get so cynical about government that they lose faith entirely? And it's something we really have to guard against. At this moment in time, the level of apathy and cynicism combined is so toxic. And I think the risk that de Blasio has, and I, I agree with Dominic, I don't see him doing anything about it, is that people say, are you kidding? If that person you, worked for me and you, did it, I would fire him, and I'm like yeah. a lowly assembly City, person. If I'm a New York City taxpayer, I'm wondering why the First Lady has a chief of staff at, at, at $170,000 <laughs> a year to start with. If he gets her to, uh, you know, gets her to quit, the taxpayers are going to say, or most citizens are going to say, let's not replace, replace her. her. Yeah. That's a good point. You know. and, and, and you know what? People get mad about people getting preference, getting tickets fixed. Sounds silly, oh. but this one, as much as anything, the idea, wait a second. Yeah. This creep's getting tickets and fixed. The mayor, and not, and, and yeah. Richard, the mayor saying everybody's got unpaid parking oh, tickets. Yeah, like, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you it know? didn't work in his it case. Didn't work. Yeah. It didn't work. Twice. Yeah. Twice. Yeah. Yeah. The judge said, I don't care. <laughs> he still thought enough that he'd try it, though. All right. Well, he yeah. could do better than this guy. Anyway, all right. All right yeah. Now, come up next. We spoke. Um, with uh, Chris Gibson, a congressman who's looking for a third term. He's in a fascinating district, a district that Obama won by six points last go-around here. Will he win again? The polls say he's sure in the driver's seat. Stay with us.